Welcome back to the Hamster Pokemon Association, the Dead NA Division. And we're back with week three. Against our opponent, Lily, and the Snow Point Star Raptors. Now this week, we have an interesting matchup because it's a very physical heavy team. We're facing off against Tapu Bulu, Make a Gallade, Rotomwash, Arcanine, Cofagrigus, Roach's Steel, Armaldo, Dragonite, Weavile, and Persian. With the main stealth rockers on the opponent's team being Reggie Steel, meaning it has to come against us. With that in mind, the team that we're going to be bringing this week is Xplout, Amoongus, Celesteela, Drudagon, Mega Metacham, and Rotom Heat. Now, the thing about x this week is that it is going to be running a Silk Scarf with Substitute, Fake Tears, Flamethrower, and Boom Burst. What this does is it sets up on Registeel because at max, the at max Seismic Toss is doing just below 25%. Therefore, we're keeping our Substitute intact through two. Fake Tears puts it down minus two in spadef so that we can break it with x -Bloud. hopefully end up behind the sub and get a free hit on anything on their team because nothing on their team appreciates boom burst or flamethrower. We're using Scrappy in case they bring Cofagagus. Then we also have Amoongus with Assault Vest, Sludge Bomb, Clear Smog, Giga Drain, Hex, just in case they decide to bring a more special version of Dragonite if they have Cofagus, we beat it down with Clear Smog, Sludge Bomb. We also beat down Rotom Wash with this. Then we have our Celesteela with Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Protect, and Toxic. Heavy Slam, nothing on their team appreciates that, with the exception of Arcanine and Registeel, and both of those don't want to take a Leech Seed because we can Leech Seed on Arcanine, Protect to scout what move they're going to go for, and then switch out into something that takes it on. Next, we have our Drudagon, one of my favorite Pokemon to use right now. With Rocky Helmet Rough Skin, this is going to absolutely demolish the Mega Gallade because it needs to hit it at least twice. Now we're rocking the Galare, Poison Tail, Dragon Tail, and Sucker Punch. What this does is it guarantees insane damage on Mega Gallade if it decides to attack me as well as Sucker Punch to make sure I'm getting that even better chip, that way I'm killing it with Fake Out if need be. They have a very slow team against us, therefore we can beat them down with Mega Metacham. Speaking of Mega Metacham, we are bringing Fake Out, Bullet Punch, Zen Headbutt, Drain Punch. Nothing on their team wants to switch into a Zen Headbutt, and because of their lack of speed on their team, we can run Adamant and just get insane damage on them. Then we have our Choice Scarf Rotom Heat with Discharge, Volt Switch, Overheat, and Shadow Ball. What this does is it provides us with a very reliable Revenge Kill Mon that with 192 speed makes sure it outspeeds everything on their team with this Choice Scarf on, including Weavile. I think that we have a good matchup against our opponent. They definitely have a very aggressive team, but their backbone for Arcanine, Cofagus, Registeel provides them with really good support. Now, stay tuned for the actual matchup, which is going to be put on right after this. And now we're going to jump into our week three matchup against oh, the Snowpoint Star Raptors. All right, so we have an interesting team here. So, we can definitely set up on this Registeel. But I want to lead one Pokemon. Let's see. Let's let's leave Metacham just to get off the fake out. That way we're in a better position for the late game. So what fake out gives us is it gets us a little bit of chip. Now, Glade can be an issue. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, I think Metacham's gonna be our 
Yeah, Metachamp is going to be our lead. The other option is leading Rotom Heat, but it puts us into too much of a position where we can lose momentum against a bulky Rotom Wash. So let's lead, get off the Mega. So Metacham to Galate. Okay. So we can get this fake out damage off. Okay. So now we're going to go into Dredagon. Get off the Rocky Helmet. Perfect. Rocky Helmet, rough skin. Then we hit him with the Sucker Punch. Good. Now. Glade was completely erased, which is just what we wanted. So now we can actually go back into Medicham, do a fake out. Okay, got Arcanine. We're gonna go into. Ooh, perfect. All right. So here I'm going to. I'm gonna Volt Switch. All right. So what does that tell us? What does that tell us about this Rotom? So Rotom Wash. If he has Choice Scarf. If he's Max HP, Volt Switch does 33 to 39. Okay, so he's bulky. Go into Amoongus. Go into the Arcanine. So Mungus into Arcanine. So we know he has teleport. He can easily flare blitz. We're just gonna go back into this. Yeah. Now So Rotom Heat to Arcanine. I'm gonna actually throw off a discharge. He doesn't really have a switch in for we have a good switch in for Rotom Wash. And we might be able to just two shot. I want to get damage off on the Arcanine, so we beat it in the late game. Dragonite, we have the Cell Steel for. Bulu, we have the Amoongus for, as well as Cell Steel. Discharge, 28, good damage. All right. He's playing around with Paralysis. Yep. Okay. So we know he has Teleport, Will O Wisp, Morning Sun. Let's go back into this. And I'm actually just going to throw off a sludge bomb. Good. All right. So, Amoongus to Arcanine. So, sludge bomb did 19%. Okay, so he is max special defense. Max special defense with a boosting nature for Spideff. Now if you are paralyzed, Hex is doing only 17 to 20. I'm just gonna go back into this, throw off some more discharges. This thing really can't touch us, it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Goes into Dragonite. Now, I'm gonna go into Self Steela. All right, back into Rotom Heat. Only six morning suns left, so we can wear that out. Yep, let's just go back into Rotom Heat. 
Okay. Throw off discharge. I want to force all those morning suns out. That way we can put on the pressure with x -Bloud. If this thing is flamethrower, it's not doing much to our Amoongus anyway. But if we can get it into range where Hex can kill it, we'll be in a better position. Perfect. Okay. So this thing is really worn down. All right. So. Rotom Heat versus Dragonite. Okay. Go back into Celesteela. And we're just gonna throw off a Toxic. Okay. Now we're gonna throw off a Leech Seed here on the off opportunity that they try Dragon Dancing again. We should live one more. Perfect, okay. Okay, we're gonna protect here. Protect again. So teleport will of us morning sun. Okay, now back into Rotom. So Rotom Heat versus Dragonite. Most likely, does he go Dragonite or does he go Bulu? So I think now is when you want to start getting Bulu in. If he goes Dragonite, we're just going to Volt Switch out into our Celesteela. Alright. So what comes in here? Okay. You go Rotom Wash. So I'm gonna Volt Switch into my Moongus. And from here, I'm going to, let's see. They can go Arcanine. Go for the Sludge Bomb. I kind of want to see what their final move is, but it's just not worth risking. Especially with how good this Amoongus is. And Arcanine if it is a special defensive set. How does it take on our Medicham? It doesn't, okay. So as long as it's not getting the Intimidate off, even with the Intimidate, we can two shot with Zen Headbutt though. We outspeed most of their team, unless Scarf. Okay, so they are Flamethrower, perfect. All right, so from here, let's throw off a Discharge. Get the damage up. Now from here, they are definitely going to teleport. Okay, going to protect. Good. Just want to get, just want to get some HP back. Okay, throw off some discharges. Throw off another. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. 
All right, we'll take it. So, with Arcanine gone, all right. So, let's throw off the discharge here. Okay, and from here, we are 384. Okay, go into Celesteel. Okay, protect and Dragonite's dead. All right, from here. Yeah, knew they wouldn't go for the Hydro Palm. So we have Rotom, Heat versus Tapu Bulu. If it is Choice Scarf, it can only kill us with Stone Edge. I'm gonna go straight into this, double into, and then we're gonna sub. Okay, fake tears. Sub. All right, time to just flamethrower. Okay, flamethrower. And flamethrower. Ooh, this is not bad for us actually. Just gonna boom burst here. Sack off the X-Plaid. All right. So from here, from here, 273. I wanna see what this Bulu is gonna go for. Okay, so Celesteela, if he goes for close combat. If he's Choice Scarf, he cannot kill us. If he is Choice Band, he cannot kill us. So our best bet here is to just go for Heavy Slam. Protect, Let's see what it goes for. So, we're in a position where we can basically win with either of those. Let's go into Moongus. Okay. Moongus to Reggie Steel. And what we're going to do is just throw off Giga Drain. So how much is an Iron Head supposed to do to us? It does, okay, so that's about right. So and a chin. We can possibly just start getting Medicham in. Stealth Rock, Toxic, Iron Head, Protect. Okay. And from here we can Drain Punch. Get all of that HP back. Okay. All right, they go for Zen Headbutt, which does not do enough. Now, from here, what we're going to do is Leech Seed on the Road and Wash. Okay, protect. Okay, now Celesteela from here goes go straight into Amoongus. Okay. All right. And Sludge Bomb. Okay. Now they did Zen Headbutt did 54.6 last time. Go for it again. Ooh, they got the crit. All right. Let's just go with the Cell Steela. Uh, protect, just to get a little bit of HP back. Heavy Slam. Easy damage, and let's just fill it, finish it with the Heavy Slam. Now, 
we did really hash that Arcanine, but I feel like we pressured it enough that we had the game won, even if we didn't hax it down. Now, I think that it could it could have been much closer if we didn't hax the Arcanine from existence, but I think either way we had a good matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next few matchups, which will be going up tomorrow.